guys, I'm Jared Falk and welcome to today's secret lesson. So I was just having a little bit of fun in the intro there, but the concept and the stuff I was doing is what I'm gonna teach you how to do today. And it's not ultra complex, it's not, it sounds complex because I'm playing it over multiple voices and stuff like that, but it is easier than you guys think, okay? So all we're doing is three rotations of the single paradiddle to play it as 16th note triplets. So right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. That's it. And you play it in the note value of 16th triplets and you get one complete bar. What is difficult is the single paradiddle is kind of a rudiment where you feel four, right? You feel four notes, right, left, right, right, there's four, and left, right, left, left. So you either feel four or eight. And each count of, of the groove, or of a, 16 note, a bar of 16 note triplets, has six notes. Six notes. <laughs> I only have five fingers. Six notes. Um, so it, that's where it's gonna, really going to throw you off. And so that's why it's important just to start it slow. Um, I'm going to get Victor to give me the click at 60 beats per minute. And we're just going to start it slow. And I'm going to show you um, how 16 note triplets sound just played between the hi-hat and the snare drum. Just so you can kind of hear the push and pull and you kind of get this weird polyrhythmic feel. I'm not going to worry about any accenting. I'm not, I'm going to give you the kick on the downbeat, okay? Just on count one. But this is the starting point for playing something like I was playing on the intro. Just learning to play 16th note triplets using a single parallel. That's the starting note. It's ridiculously simple. It's easy. Once you master that, or master, whatever that means, but once you get better at that, you can start to apply it around the kit. But for now, let's just give you it um, between the hi-hat, snare, bass drum on just the count one. All right, so that is your starting point. Before you move on to anything further, that's where you gotta start. And if you just do it on the snare, if you just do it on a practice pad, you can even practice this away from the kit. You know, if, if you are not ready to play the single paradiddle as 16 note triplets, just take your metronome, um, sit in front of the TV, uh, just watch sports or whatever. You gotta watch hockey if you're from Canada, you gotta watch hockey. But then just play the, play the single paradiddle on your leg at 16 note triplets at a slow or a moderate tempo. When you get comfortable with that, bring it back to the kit. Okay, and then from there, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna add in the bass drum notes, okay, on count one, and then one triplet and triplet on the let of one, because I count 16th note triplets, one triplet and triplet, two triplet and triplet. So we're gonna have a bass drum on count one, uh, the let of one, the second let of one, and then we're gonna have the two more bass drums on the trip and the let, the last two notes of count two, and that's it. Then we're gonna put the snare on count three, okay, then that's it. Um, and so just download the sheet music for this and just practice it really, really slow. Um, I'm gonna play it just, I'm not even gonna use a click track, I'm just gonna play it for you guys really, really slow, and you'll hear how it resets, okay? But, but now we're gonna be hearing the accent on count three, so it's gonna be like a cool halftime R&B style groove or whatever you wanna call it. So that is the next step there, adding the accent on count three and then adding the bass drum strokes on the one, the let of one, the last let of one, and then the trip and the let of count two, the last two uh, notes of count two. Okay, and then from there, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it to a metronome so you guys can hear it along with the click. And so let's do it at 100 beats per minute. And this is a little bit faster for you guys.
All right, so just remember to try and keep the ghost notes quieter and then try and have a lots of space between the dynamic of the ghost note and then the dynamic of the accent. So you kind of get that really loud backbeat. Okay, so that's what we want. Um, from here, what I'm also going to show you guys is I've just written out a kind of cool fill that I like to use. Now, I, I'm just going to play it for you really, really slow so you can hear how it sounds, but the sticking is just right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, just three rotations of that. And that's just play it around the drums. And there's only one bass drum hit throughout the bar. And so it's just a matter of, of you getting the sheet music, sitting at your kit, and just playing, practicing it really, really slowly. Um, that's when I actually wrote this fill, that's exactly what I had to do. Is I had to just sit here, because um, I write it upstairs in my office, and then I bring it downstairs in our studio here, and this is where I actually will practice it and make sure, does this actually work, what I'm writing? And then I make some modifications to it, and then I come out with what I think is a really, really cool sounding fill. And so um, it's something when I first learned it, I had to start ultra, ultra slow. All right, so I'm just going to play a regular eighth note groove, okay, and then I'm just going to go into it. Uh, going to the fill. All right, now I'm going to show you guys how it sounds fast. Let's do it at 110 beats per minute. All right, so that is the fill. And I wanted to give you a fill option, um, but obviously step one is first learning it. Just play it as a 16-note triplet. Single parallel, play the 16-note triplets. Next step, incorporate into a groove. Third step, incorporate into a fill. Fourth step, I know you thought I was done at three, but I'm not done at three. Uh, fourth step is just to start spreading those notes around and making the groove your own. Um, when I first wrote a groove, I just wrote it on the hi-hat, snare, and kick drum. And that was it. You'll just, you'll just see. It's number two there. Um, but then I started thinking, what else can I do with this? Well, I can now move my right hand over to the ride, and I can play on the bell. But I could also, I have an extra hi-hat over here. I can split the notes up. And so there's not really any rhyme or reason to what I'm doing, but I just split the notes up between here, so you kind of get this really, really uh, funky and advanced sounding groove. And then I add the hi-hat in on quarter notes. So let me play this for you guys and show you guys how it sounds. All right, now once you do that, what you can do is you can start moving your left hand back and forth between the snare and the hi-hat. And the only thing you need to make sure you do is hit the accent on count three. And if you do that, the, the backbeat and the groove will still sound consistent, it'll still feel good, but you're going to have all these different sounds. You know, and now I'm, I, I spread it out of the, the ride, this hi-hat, my alternate hi-hat, these hi-hats, these 15-inch Pisces, and the snare drum, and the bass drum. So I got one, two, three, four, five different voices within this groove now. So let me play it for you guys, adding the hi-hat in. All right, so there's no sheet music for that. That's just improv. That's, you know, I got to the point where I'm really comfortable playing 
single parallel using the note value of 16th note triplets. And from there, I can just continue going. Like I can come up with thousands, millions of different grooves that are gonna suit tons and tons of different musical styles. And it's all about you guys doing the exact same thing, you know, taking it from where I have it here, what I've written out for you guys in the sheet music, and then taking it to that next point. So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Please spread the word. Um, the more views we get, the better. The, mo the more views we get, the more of these videos I can do. So please spread the word. Thank you for those of you that already have, and I'll see you guys in the next video.